This is the homing procedure for the machine uh, using Linux CNC. So this is the Linux CNC screen. Um, basically, you go up to this point here, and the steppers are on. This is the machine on-off control. Yeah. So you steppers off, steppers on. So I click on Home All, and off it goes. So first of all, it's doing the Z. Now it's doing the X. It's going to our left. We'll go back, forwards, back, and then jump out to a home position. And, and now it's doing the Y. Oops. It often gets stuck there, but I'll move it away. Not really sure why that is. And then I do uh, home Y. That's in the home button on the keyboard. It should do it again. There it goes. So that's the, the the machine's home position. The next thing to do is to to set the position of the tool on the stock. So I'm going to move the tool down to the stock. I'm just doing this manually using jog. So it goes down. And now you use a piece of paper. Here. I'll shuffle that around using the up and down keys on the keyboard until it just bites. Like that. And then I then do the touch off procedure which tells the software that this is the zero point for the stock which is different to the zero point on the machine so I go um, select X touch off X get this and it records that position and I do it for Y touch off and then Z, touch off. And now the position here, this one, is the position on the stock. Um, that's, that's the relative offset position. And this is called the G54, that's the machine's position. That's where it really is physically in the world. <coughs> so I've loaded a file. Um, of a piece I want to make. I, I generated this in Fusion 360. It's basically a disk with a pocket in it and a hole in the middle. So Linux CNC thinks it's going to make that. Let's see what happens. Before we start, I'd just mention that I made a spindle control system, which is basically a digitally controlled um, 13 amp socket. I'll show that later. Um, but it's controlled now digitally from here. So if I click on this button here, it goes. Oh, right. So that's all it is. It's simple off on mains for the for the router. Other, other systems have variable speed. That's what this is: speed, spindle control speed, plus and minus. Here we go then. Um, vacuum cleaner on. Click run on Linux and see what happens. Well, nothing. As, as, as usual these things. Um, I've just done a, a run of this, this file and I noticed there was an error in it and the pocket here uh, I selected the wrong wrong surface so it's 
the wrong the wrong file. So I've re reloaded, redone the file, and this is the uh, another try. So I've re zeroed the tool slightly further along, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that's finished, but it turns out that the, the centre area was supposed to be a flat pocket, but it's left this ring. So I've, I've modified the file, and we're going to run it, and hopefully it will just recut the centre bit and flatten it off. Here's hopefully the finished article. Tabs around the edge. Just hold it in. And this should fit in there. There you go. Uh, this is the uh, computer controlled uh, plug socket that I've come up with. Um, this, this is the, the wire that goes off to the this mess in here goes off into the PC and it's controlled by the parallel port. Um, so it's basically, basically it's just a, an extension socket um, with a plug on the end and it's good and the router plugs into there and probably a, a light or something to tell it it's on. Okay so I've opened it up. Um, basically it's a, a solid state relay which is this thing here. It's got um, 3 to 24 volts control in and then it's just a, a main switch basically and it's just in series with a live on the uh, the socket there so it's just like an extra switch goes through there and this is the control and DC comes up into there seems to work quite well I was screwed onto a metal box because uh, it's a it down. If it ever gets hot, that's one so far. It's pretty good.